Hey YouTube, all right, today we got a Greg Norman poly spandex four-way stretch pant. Bought this at Costco for 20 bucks. Walked by the table, touched it, had a really nice hand feel. Um, four-way stretch is always an interest to me. And uh, it had some interesting call-outs too that also grabbed my attention. Um, it says that uh, it has this ML75 luxury yarn, uh, which is, I believe, just a Greg Norman uh, name that they gave to the microfiber um, four-way stretch comfort so anyways 20 bucks look good uh, let's open it up and see what we got here these belly bands that Costco requires now I think that just makes a mess for the the employees there because people just open them up and then they can't put them back together again so you kind of have this uh, five pocket construction in the front with a uh, these steel rivets so that's really nice there okay so what I think would be best is if I switch to the overhead angle on the camera and then we can look at some of the construction and I could point out some of the features here in the pant and tell you what I think about it uh, before we try it on so hold on a second and let me switch camera angles um, so we have this elastic curtain with the three color um, print I guess that's like a heat seal um, well, no, it's a uh, silicone, raised silicone, so it's very nice uh, quality. Um, to me, this fly opening looks short. Normally, a little over seven inches uh, is what I would expect. Here we have five and a half. Um, so this zipper opening here is quite short. Uh, you know, and of course, you need that in order to be able to pull the pants up. Um, it's more than just being able to go to the bathroom um, and opening up your zipper. The other thing is also the placement of this bar tack here on the inside, as you can see, is quite high relative to the zipper. This is just to keep this facing folded over, but the higher this tack is, and you're actually reducing your zipper opening um, because the pan can now only open down to about this point which is giving us about four inches and um, the reason why you need that is you know this is a 32 this probably has a 34 inch uh, waist check that real quick and actually 34 and a half so in order to be able to pull this pants up over your hips, a man with a 34 inch, 34 and a half inch waist is probably going to have 42 inch uh, hip or seat measurement. So you're going to need at least a minimum of eight inches additional just to be able to pull the pants up. And if you could get a little bit more to, you know, so you're not struggling to pull your pants up, the better. So this is just barely going to be able to open enough so we can have that full um, 42 uh, inches that we need to get to pants up when the when the zippers open All right and the stretch there I mean it's going to allow for any adjustments but nevertheless uh, that's the purpose of it and uh, it would be better if this was a little bit longer and that this fly tack here was a little bit lower down um, like I said the construction is clean and nice there's some things that I would do to improve. Um, another item you can see here is this wrinkle here in the fly. And that's basically what the button placement is uh, causing that. Um, right now, when the pants is pulling, all the tension is on the zipper because the button or the snap here is set a little bit too far over. And just to demonstrate that, you could see if I would just move this over just a little bit, how it cleans this up because it puts the pressure now on the button and the zipper is actually uh, being held together um, you actually would want to see your zipper almost pull up, roll up a little bit like this when the pant is closed and that would keep this laying nice and flight, uh, flat and smooth um, we have double needle top stitching surgeon top stitching throughout uh, here we have a cl you know, all clean on the front but double needle on the uh, watch pocket, double needle on the um, pocket opening, double needle stitching on the side seam, uh, no stitching on the inseam. 
I love this pocket construction, especially for a, dra a hybrid type pant. So it's a five pocket look, but it's a dressy fabric. So you have this mock patch looking type pocket with a, almost like a hybrid welt patch construction. So I really think that's cool. Um, you have six belt loops, which for me that's economically very nice. Um, it's I think a little bit nicer when you have the center loop and maybe you go with seven on a dress pant maybe five on a on a more casual type of pant um, but having that center loop here kind of just visually um, makes everything seem more aesthetic um, but anyways let's try the pant on oh and we have this little nice mock leather uh, embossed label there and those are not cheap Anyways, let's try the pant on, see what it looks like on, and then uh, we can make our final call. Ultimately, that's what's going to be most important. Okay, so this is what the pants look like on. As you can see, um, they're a little bit loose on me, but uh, overall, I think they're the right size for me. I wouldn't want to go down uh, any further. Um, you can see a little bit of that pulling that I mentioned here because of the snap placement. Um, but overall, I think it's a very nice fit. Um, the 9010 fabric four-way stretch is really ideal fabric. I mean, it is so comfortable and this one's breathable and uh, you're just going to be able to wear it all day long. Almost feel like you're wearing, um, I guess, something that uh, you would wear to exercise. So out on the golf course, it's going to be great. Anyways. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, put a comment below. Uh, I look forward to seeing your comments, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. In the meantime, dress smart. Take care.